Are you tired of spending money on marketing agencies that never deliver? Or maybe you're trying a bunch of different marketing things on your own and some things are working, but you're not really sure what's working and what's not. If that's you, then stick around for a few moments so I can show you how to take control of your own marketing and do some of it yourself so that you can create more consistent and predictable revenue in your contracting company. Okay, so one of these things probably resonates with you. You have this idea that you wanna bring some of your marketing in-house, but you're not really sure like what that looks like and how to do that and what steps to take. Or maybe you're not sold that you should bring your marketing in-house because you're so busy, but you're just open to exploring different options at this point because nothing that you've done has worked so far. Either way, chances are you're feeling one or more of these things. Your lead flow isn't where you want it to be or need it to be. You're spending the same money, but you're just not getting the same leads as you're used to. Or you're spending a whole bunch more money just to get that same lead flow that you're used to getting. There's increased competition, roofing companies popping up left and right, property owners getting more skeptical, more hesitant, not really pulling that trigger so your closing rate is going way down. And ultimately you feel like you're on this hamster wheel, you're constantly chasing leads and you can never get ahead. If you're not already aware, we at Contractor Dynamics are a marketing training company. So what the heck does that mean? That means that we don't do the marketing for you, we train our clients, roofing companies and contracting companies on how to run their own marketing. So they can take control of their brand, they can take control of their content, they can tell their stories, they get more mileage for their marketing dollars, and ultimately when they build a marketing machine inside their companies, they create, again, more consistent and predictable growth. Over the past 10 years, we have worked with hundreds of different sized roofing companies to help them grow their companies with more confidence. And I'm telling you that the companies, the ones that we've worked with, and also the ones we know, the roofing contracting companies that have the most success year in and year out, are the ones that take control over their brand. They take control over the marketing and they're doing at least some of their marketing in-house so that they know where they're going and they're not wasting a whole bunch of money every year. So if that's you, if you have this frustration around marketing, it hasn't worked, you've tried all these different things, you've trusted marketing agencies and freelancers, you've bought leads, you've door knocked, you've done it all and you're just fed up with constantly chasing leads. But you still know that of course, marketing is one of the pillars of any successful business. And now you're open to this idea that I'm sharing with you on running your own marketing in-house, whether that's you personally, whether that's someone in your company that you have currently, whether that's someone that you don't have in your company, but you wanna bring someone in from the outside, you have this idea of, okay, what does that actually look like to bring my marketing in-house? And how does that benefit our company? So before we get into any marketing tactics, I really wanna set the foundation, the mindset, to get you thinking the right way about marketing in your contracting company. I'd be doing you a huge disservice if I just threw a bunch of tactics at you, which we do have in our other videos and our other podcast episodes, without first giving you the mindset of how everything works so you can put the macro pieces of the puzzle in place in the right order to increase your chances of success. So I'm gonna share four strategies with you that you need to really write down, commit to these, maybe do some work after you watch this video or listen to this podcast to make sure that you have absolute clarity on these things. Number one is clarity on your vision. So many companies that we talk with, whether it's at a conference or in our Facebook Lives that we do in our webinars, they say, yeah, I want more. I want more leads, I want more appointments, I want more sales, but they don't have a clear picture of where they're going with their business. And why this is so important to marketing is because who you're talking to with your marketing, with your content, is everything. So I want you to understand, Avery, get really clear on where you are now as a business, where you wanna be, whether that's three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, and who are your ideal clients? What are the ideal projects that you want more of? Because the thing is, when you're not doing any marketing, you're kind of at the mercy of taking on whatever comes your way. Random referrals, a 20 square job, an hour across town to take on just to keep the guys busy. I know that, been there, done that. It's not very profitable or very efficient. However, when you start to do marketing, then we can become more intentional about where we wanna work, which particular towns and neighborhoods, what types of projects we're gonna say yes to, what types of referrals we want. And then also, because we have a steady pipeline once we get that machine going, what we can confidently say no to because that does not fit our vision. If we try to market to everyone, we market to no one, we wanna be super specific 
on whom we're talking to in our marketing message. Strategy number two, take this to heart. Think about this. People have told me, I've talked about this at events on stage, that this one sentence really made everything click for them. Someone in your company should be waking up and thinking about and acting on how do we get more people to know about us today than knew about us yesterday. What that translates to in someone inside your company on your payroll, on your W-2 payroll, should be marketing your company for at least 20 hours a week. Ideally, as soon as you can, you have that full-time person. But until then, it might be a spouse, it might be a son or a daughter, a couple of our clients have hired their moms, it might be a relative, a friend, it might be a part-timer. Someone is dedicated to marketing your business for at least 20 hours a week. Their goal, their job, their mindset, when they wake up in the morning is, we need to get more people to know about Contractor Dynamics today than knew about us yesterday. How are we going to do that? That person is going to drive an insane amount of awareness. And once you build that marketing machine that we'll talk about in future videos, is gonna drive a ton of business for you as well. The third strategy I wanna share with you is that you must be a practitioner of the game. Marketing, like anything, is constantly changing. In fact, we could argue that marketing is changing faster than most things. It's changing faster than financial aspect of the business, changing faster than sales. It's changing faster than production. It's changing faster than HR. Marketing moves very fast. It's a noisy world. There's more and more companies coming online every single day, competing for that attention, competing for those eyeballs that you're competing for. There is no way that you can just treat marketing as an afterthought, as something that you do on a weekend or at 11 o'clock at night when you're done with your paperwork or you do once in a while or during the slow season when you actually have time. Marketing is something that has to be done every single day, 52 weeks a year to achieve that compound effect of those little efforts every single day. Be a practitioner of the platforms. Study YouTube. Learn more at contractordynamics.com. We have a whole bunch of courses and marketing training programs go on a whole bunch of videos on our YouTube channel, all over social media, we've got tons of education for you. As far as a couple book recommendations, the one page marketing plan is amazing, as well as my boy Gary Vee's new book, Day Trading Attention, goes really deep into all the platforms so you can really understand how they work. You must be a practitioner of the game. The companies that are winning at marketing are the companies that are studying it, they're doing research and development, they're trying new things, they're getting outside of their comfort zone, and they're iterating. They're not just setting and forgetting their marketing that does not work. So please be a practitioner of the game. Myself, I recommend putting some time in your calendar every single week to learn about marketing, to watch some YouTube videos, watch some of our videos, read some of these books, read and then apply, try new things, continually try new things. Strategy number four. Now this potentially may be quite possibly the most important tidbit about marketing that you've ever heard. I know that's a big, I set the bar really high there. I better deliver, okay? Think about this concept. You must be the general contractor of your own marketing. So what does that mean? Let's compare it to running a roofing project. Say you had a multi-trade roofing project coming up on Friday. Today might be Friday when you're watching or listening to this, maybe next Friday, whatever that is. Multi-trade job, you got roofing, you got HVAC, maybe you have some gutters, maybe you have siding, maybe you have internal insulation. You know, there's a bunch of people there, there's a bunch of crews there, different companies there. What if you just told everyone to show up at this address next Friday and do the job? There's no plans, there's no game plan, there's no communication, there's no project manager there. It's gonna be a mess. They're gonna build something, they're gonna do something, but it's going to be a mess and pretty much guaranteed it's not gonna be what you or that property owner envisioned. Same thing with your marketing. Now what happens with most roofing and contracting companies is you grow and you listen to guys like me, thank you very much, I appreciate it, tell you that you need to do marketing and say, all right, you go out and find a Facebook ads guy, then you find a website guy, then you find a local video guy, then you try some direct mail, then you're doing TV, radio, billboards, whatever it might be. What you end up with is all of these different marketing subcontractors floating around in orbit doing some activity, but it's not connected. There's no game plan, there's no communication, there's no budget, there's no looking at the data and analyzing results so we can make forward progress. It's a complete mess, you're spending money, some things are working, some things are not, you have no idea what's going on, you stop the thing that's working, you double down on the thing that doesn't because you're just guessing. It's classic spraying and praying, spraying a bunch of things out there and praying that something works. The problem is, if something works, you don't know what's working. So you're never able to double down on that or improve that or invest more money into that thing that's working 
So you can never scale your marketing. You're never gonna be able to grow your marketing. You're hitting the ceiling. So you must be the general contractor of your marketing. What does that mean? That doesn't mean that you need to self-perform all the work and bang all the nails and hang all the siding and blow all the insulation. You don't have to do any of that. However, you do need to know enough to coordinate everyone, to set the plan, to communicate, to have the meeting, the project manage, to look at the budget, make sure that you're on track, all of those different things. You are the general contractor of your own marketing. And yes, ideally you're self-performing some of that work, your content, your videos, just like this, brand strategy, getting some people in-house to run your marketing. And then you can hire the subs for the technical things that you don't do in-house. That is the formula that pretty much all of our clients use. They're doing some of it in-house and they're outsourcing some of the more technical aspects. However, the things that they're outsourcing, they're able to understand what those subs are doing, those marketing agencies and freelancers, and they're able to collaborate with them so that there is a steady path to success month in and month out. So those are the four strategies I recommend that you think about as you're starting to think about this concept of bringing your marketing in-house, which we at Contractor Dynamics wholly recommend. That's why we have the business model that we do to train roofing and contracting companies on how marketing works. Again, not that you have to do all of it yourself, but at least understand some of it so you can do it and then outsource it and be much more successful with that. That being said, if you would like to learn any more about our marketing courses, our marketing training programs that we have here, head on over to our website, contractordynamics.com, see what we're all about. You can see our people here. We've got an amazing team and we can help you out and figure out what makes the most sense for you. At the very least, go to our website, schedule a call with someone here on our team and we can give you some clarity on what you need to do moving forward. So that's that. I hope that this video has brought you a lot of clarity as to kind of what's possible when you bring your marketing in-house. Stay tuned to the very next video where I'm gonna walk you through the ideal marketing team if you are going to build that in-house marketing team and machine. I'll see you there.